Hi everyone, oh, welcome to HD Piano, my name is Joanna and in today's lesson we're going to learn how to play Hope is a Dangerous Thing for a Woman Like Me to Have But I Have It by Lana Del Rey. So let's have a listen to it, I'm going to show you the intro and the verse, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we go into the chorus. Okay, and we're going to look at that in a moment. So there you go. That's the intro and the verse. Don't forget you can head on over to hdpiano.com where you can find the remaining sections to this video. And so I've got a question for you guys. So Liz Lana Del Rey was originally a folk artist and she's gone through many transformations to kind of find her sound um, and image as a musician, uh, which happens to most musicians. And uh, she started off with the name Lizzie Grant. And so I want to know your th feelings on this. Like, do you think, do you prefer Lizzie Grant or do you like Lana Del Rey? I think I quite like Lana Del Rey, to be honest. Let me know in the comments below and I look forward to reading those. Okay, here we go. We're going to begin in the middle of the piano. So our right hand is kind of playing these chords and we've got an A minor chord to start with. We've got middle C. And my left hand is just playing the bass note of that chord. So I'm going to start with an A minor in my right hand, A, C, E, and we're playing that low A at the same time. And now our counting today is in 6, 8, so there's a strong feeling of 2. So we're going to hold this for 6 counts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we're going to go down to a G chord. So we're just moving down one, we've got G, B and D with a low G in the bass. Again, we're going to hold it for 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're going to come down again, and we're on the D below middle C, this one down here, F sharp and A. So F sharp's in today's piece. That's the only black key that we really have to watch out for. And a low D in the left hand. So you're really just playing the lowest note of the chord in the left hand. So let's count that out together. Six counts to each thing. The last thing we're going to hold down for two bars. So like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold two, three, four, five, six. That makes sense? Now on that last chord, you can arpeggiate it, which means to play the note one after the other. And then we're going to repeat it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold two, three, four, five, six. All right, and now we kind of head into the verse. So let's break it down here. So we have, we're going to start again around, we're kind of playing with those chords again, and I've got middle C at the top and the A below that underneath. I'm going to use these fingers, I've got fingers three and five. And let's just do uh, one hand at a time, so we'll do our right hand first, and we've got this pattern. Um, so counting, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, try and remember that strong feeling of two. The strongest one is on the first count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And our left hand is playing, as, as you can guess, an A again, because we're in an A minor place, A, C, and E. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you keep your hand, if you use those fingers, you can keep your hand in the same place and use fingers two and four for the next G chord. And again, you can arpeggiate this one. And the counting on this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you hear there's a subtle kind of pulse here? So the first beat is the strongest. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got it? You see that nice feeling of two when we're in that six eight time. So with that left hand, we're going to hold it. The do, we're going to hold down the G for the G chord, and we've got this one two three four five six, and then we're going down to the D. So here we're, again, we're 
we I'm gonna move my hands. I'm gonna put my thumb here, third finger on F sharp, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again. And you can use your pedal here as well. So you can really kind of hold down the notes. That's fine. So here we're going to hold down that low D. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's just do that bit again from the beginning of that section. Here we go. Don't forget, you can always rewind sections of the video. I don't even know if that's like the correct term, rewind, but you can do that anyway and try those sections. Okay, now we're gonna go into our next little bit. And this bit is repeating, so it's quite nice. Again, can you notice what chord have I got here? A bit of knowledge for you guys, so you can work it out. Yes, well done, it's an A minor chord. It's just with the E on the bottom rather than and the top, so it's an inversion. We have switched the notes around in the chord. So we've got middle C at the top, A, and E is at the bottom now. It's still an A minor chord, so we're gonna play an A in the bass to go with the A minor chord. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now all you have to do is keep that same shape and move down, same fingers, one, three, and five, D, G, and B, and you guessed it, yes, this is a G chord with the D at the bottom this time. And then we're gonna go from here, keep your thumb there, and we can go to that lovely D chord again, D, F sharp, and A. So here's our counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, have you got it? I'll just do it one more time. Let's go together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And then it repeats. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Into our chorus. So don't forget to head on over to hdpiano.com so you can learn the chorus and the other parts to this song. It's so lovely. I really love it. And well done today for doing the intro and the verse. Don't forget, you can always go back and rewind and try any sections that you need to again. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and I would love to read your comments below. And you can find us on all social media. You do not want to miss out on our videos. We're releasing them every day. So make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and to all social media as well so you don't miss a video. All right, my name is Vin Joanna and I look forward to seeing you on hdpiano.com, the home of hybrid piano lessons.